Hi! Today we're going to make an earthy and easy handmade greeting card with a limited edition Stamp Up Thoughtful Branches stamp set. Come join me as I show you how. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Welcome to StampingSmiles.com. I'm Shelly Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 15 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. So let's get started on this earthy and easy card. So here's a better view of all the stamps that come in the fantastic Thoughtful Branches stamp set. And then here we have the Coordinating Beautiful Branches Thinlet Dies. Now both of these are available August 2nd through August 31st, 2016 in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com, while supplies last. Now, if you order the two together and use the special bundle item number, you'll save 10% on both. Okay, so today we're going to use just the Thoughtful Branches stamp set. So, what I have here is some crumb cake cardstock, and the cardstock comes in 8.5 by 11, and I cut this in half. And so I have here eight and a half by five scored at four and a quarter. And we're going to stamp right on the front of our card. And so when I do that, I like to open it and have it nice and flat like this. All right, we're going to start with the Early Espresso Classic Stampin' Pad. We're going to push, flip, and then lock that lid into place. And then, oh, I just, I love this, the pine trees. We're going to use the pine trees today. And we've got one stamp for the trunk and the limbs and then another stamp for the needles. Just think this is fantastic! Instead of an all green tree, or well, yeah, I guess you don't do an all brown tree. <laughs> and so I just uh, think this is great. Okay, so we've got that inked up. We're tapping on here. Let's come over here. I'm going to start with this one, because I know about where I'd like that to be. Okay, and straight up and down. Fantastic. I'm going to come over here and make this one just a little bit higher. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Oh, looking good. So let's ink this up. Now let's come over here, and I'm going to go off the bottom just a little bit. I want this one you know, a little bit lower than the other two. Oh, looking so nice. So let's set that aside, and let's close this. We're done with this for now. So let's pull that lip, pull that all the way out, flip it, and then you've got that click. You know it's closed. So now we're going to use the Garden Green Classic Stampin' Pad. Push, flip, lock that into place. So let's ink this up. We're just tapping straight up and down. And this is photopolymer so we can see through it and put this over it. Oh, watch, watch, watch. So cool. All right. So I just lined it up. The center of that, the center of that stamp is where the, uh, the trunk is so I can see through that. Isn't that great? All right. Let's do that again. I could just do these all day long. This is just so Great. Of course you could do some Christmas cards with it. I'm making a thank you card. All right. And the thank you is included in the stamp set. It has some really nice greetings with it too. Okay, so we're lining that up. And it just makes me feel brilliant. <laughs> It's just so easy and it looks so good. All right, so we're going to keep using our garden green. And then this stamp set just keeps getting better and better. Look, we have, you know, the little hills. Isn't that great? And so we're going to ink that up with the same garden green. And then it has that little break in it. Well, that is for the trunk of our, our tree. So I'm going to line this one up with it and put it in that little break. And being photopolymer. It's easy to do. Look at that. Oh, okay. And then let's come over here and do the same thing. <laughs> and then look what we get to add. We get to add grass to it. <laughs> they just did really a fabulous job with this stamp set. And of course the coordinating dies. All right, so that has that same break in there. All right, so we're going to line that up and stamp. Isn't this easy? I mean, this is seriously incredibly easy and earthy. <laughs> okay, so we are done with this. Let's go ahead and close that and set that aside. And so um, the thank you, look at this font. Isn't that great? I, I was going to just stamp it right on there, but I just want it to be a little bit more special. So we're going to get out my big shot. 
So I have my Big Shot die cutting machine and magnetic platform. The magnetic platform doesn't come with the purchase of a Big Shot, but it's something you absolutely want. It is fantastic when using the thin metal dies, and we're going to be using framelits. So this is the start of our sandwich, and then I have my cutting pad. All right, look, it's almost new. I'm just, ha <laughs> ha. And then you need your paper. Okay, I'm going to use the Layering Ovals Framelits. And uh, these are just great. You've got the scallops, but I really like how we can have different sizes of layers. We can have a small layer or a bigger layer. They just do layer beautifully. I want this one. And so, look, look how that clings to it and stays right where I want that. Because I want to be able to center it between my trees. So that is down. Fantastic. And then the rest of our sandwich, uh, we need one more cutting pad. I'm going to go ahead and crank this through. Easy, easy, easy. I have a hole right where I want it. Okay, so I want my thank you showing through that window. So I'm going to put very vanilla cardstock behind here. Normally, I would never layer until I'm done stamping because if I messed up, then I could turn it over and use the other side. But this is going to work out. I'm going to show you how. So I have here my fast fuse adhesive, and um, I'm going to put about one inch in each corner. So I'm sliding it. You know, roll it over and slide off just to stop it so you don't get the hot stringy cheese, okay? Because if you don't, it does. It's <laughs> almost funny. And I cut this larger than I needed. I could have cut it just to fit that hole, but I think this looks a lot more attractive framed like this. So your choice, you know, I just, I like the look of this. All right, so once I'm happy with my placement, and I'm not, let me pick this up. All right. I don't like to press until I'm happy, and I wasn't happy. All right, because I definitely want that. An even border on all four sides. There we go. All right. All right, so now let's close it. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stamp the thank you right there. Uh, I know, crazy. No, not really, because it's a photopolymer. I can see what I'm doing. So we're going to use the early espresso again. So let's push, clip, lock that lid into place. Okay. And, uh, and I've got plenty of room, and we're going to just come over here, and like I said, we can see what we're doing. Look at that! Fantastic! All right, and so I just thought that looked so much more special. I could have just done a die cut oval and stuck it on top, but I like this a lot better. You know, adding some dimension. Still a very easy card and definitely earthy, and like I said, just happy with that. So, and uh, let's go ahead and finish the inside. Somebody said, I'd like to see you do the inside. So let's start again with the early espresso. And we have our tree um, branch, trunk and branches. So let's come over here. Oh, great. And then we're going to just go ahead and add some of the garden green. So let's close that. Let's bring back the garden green. Bush flip. Okay. And then we have our pine needles. Ink that up, and there we go. We have our finished card on the inside, too. So wasn't that easy? All right. Okay, I want to show you why I die cut last, where I did my stamping. I thought, okay, I'm just going to die cut all of these cards, because this is my August 2016 thank you card for everyone who places their order with me. And so I know I'll be making a lot of these, so I thought, well, I'll do all the die cutting, then the stamping. So this is <laughs> after I had already done some working on my design, changing things around. I did the die cutting first. And look, I just wasn't that great at guessing. It was, you know, it's okay, but I really wanted it centered. So that's when I changed it up and said, okay, stamp first, then die cut. Because even if I don't get my trees the same every time, and they're probably, you know, because when you're hand stamping, things look, they're close, but they're not the same. So, um, so if my trees are not the same, and look, they're not. This one is off the edge a little bit. This one's on there. I'll be able to center. I'll have no trouble getting that centered by doing it afterwards. <laughs> See? That was easy! 
and earthy. And all the supplies I use to make my easy and earthy thank you cart are available to order in my online store www.shopwithshelly.com. But remember, the Thoughtful Branches stamp set and the Beautiful Branches Thinless Size, they're limited edition. They're available August 2nd through August 31st, 2016 only. And that's if supplies last. Stamp it up, hope so, but you know what? Everyone as I'm quoting a customer says, I'm chomping at the bit waiting for August 2nd. So don't take a chance. Order early in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And when you place your August 2016 Stampin' Up! order with me, I'm going to send you my easy and earthy thank you card. So get on over to my online store and get your order placed. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.